Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys my first thoughts and impressions of the leaked images of the Kobe 9 shoe. Potentially Kobe 9 shoe that we uh, saw drop yesterday and you guys can see on the screen right here. Um, basically, there's a couple actually different pictures I'll show you. But um, this, this was the first one that leaked. And I have a couple reasons why I think that this is actually the Kobe 9 shoe that we might be seeing. Um, and here are a couple of the reasons. So the... Uh, fly knit upper on this shoe uh, would be consistent to the kind of teaser uh, images that we've seen uh, related to the Kobe 9 saying that it would have fly knit on the shoe. Uh, also, the amount of carbon fiber that they use on this shoe definitely says that this is a premium product and it's not a typical basketball shoe or whatever that they're going to drop. Uh, we've already seen the KDs, we've already seen the LeBrons. So, the fact that they use that much carbon fiber, it has to be on a signature shoe. Um, it would make sense. It looks like you could see a little bit of the Kobe logo on the tongue, uh, maybe just a little one one third of the corner, but uh, but can't really say for sure. Um, I have a feeling that if this is the actual Kobe shoe, you guys thought the price points were crazy for for the for the J Jordan retros and then the LeBrons. I mean, I can't even imagine the price point on a shoe like this. Uh, this shoe, like if you look at the Jordan 28s, those price points I think were two two fifty. Uh, when they came out or, or still are 250 this one I have a feeling would be up there as well with the fly knit upper and the, the amount of carbon fiber on this shoe I would definitely say that this shoe would be over $200 uh, rumor is two, 220 I have no idea if it's true uh, but I just from looking at this shoe I, I just get the feeling of over $200 now there is a potential that they're gonna have different versions of this shoe and it would make sense uh, if they had different versions of the Kobe 9 because um, you think about it, not everybody wants to have the high top. And this is one of the leaked images also that was out there showing the possible versatility of the Kobe 9 shoe. So it looks like they could have a low top. I do think that all of the images that we've seen for the low tops, including the one that you see here, is just photoshopped. It's simple to do with an all white background. It makes sense if somebody photoshopped this. Ah, uh, you got us troll a little, -lo -lo whatever. Uh, but. But I do think that they actually will be coming out with a low top version because uh, it makes sense that they have that. If you look at the Jordan 28 again, you see the 28 had the SE version or has the SE version that does not have that shroud on it or whatever it is called, um, the neoprene kind of liner. Um, and I think that the Kobe uh, 9 would be the same way. Now, if you remember back to the Kobe System 7s, they actually had a removable insole that had a kind of a, an ankle support part for that as well it wasn't very popular and I don't think uh, people really bought the Kobe 7s for that they they weren't available in all models and so it was definitely confusing uh, with with that type of thing like I didn't know if, if every pair of Kobe 7s you'd get would um, actually have the those double insole things or not but um, not all of them did as we did eventually see I think that this shoe will have some sort of way to morph I don't know if if it's a way to remove the, the liner or if it's going to be a separate shoe in in uh, in general. Regardless, if they have two different versions of this shoe, uh, you'll see two price points. Um, if the if the low top is similar to the high top with carbon fiber and everything else, expect the price point to be up as well. Now the Kobe eights were one hundred and fifty dollars retail. Uh, I don't see if if this is the actual shoe again. I don't see this being any less than 180, and that's the rumored price uh, for the shoe uh, is 180 for the low top. So we'll see if it's actually true. It honestly would make sense. Um, the, as the tiering system goes, it usually goes the KD, Kobe, LeBron uh, for the price points. KD is obviously the cheaper. The the Kobe's in the middle, and LeBron's a high end. Uh, but this would definitely be pushing the high end. Um, the LeBron's upwards of 250 for some of them, 200 on a standard model. Uh, this one potentially 220, 220 on, on a high top model. Kind of crazy, guys. I don't know about the uh, the price point. I think it is kind of nuts. But let's get into the actual thoughts of the of the shoe. I personally think they look ridiculously dope. I think that it, it's something different. We've seen the six, seven, eight look pretty much a, a little slight variation of difference. Um, nothing too too crazy. But a small uh, step up in, in each uh, version of the shoe, and also the the factor that they're like really light. I mean, Kobe shoes are typically light. They're the shoes that I prefer to play ball in. Um, I'm really excited to see an official 
release or official images of these shoes actual drop because I think that it will be something else. Now this is another kind of image that somebody I believe photoshopped right here. It just looks pretty photoshopped to me, but but this looks pretty ridiculous. If you ask me, uh, if they actually did come in the low top and it looked like that, it's kind of like the Kobe uh, 8 the way they, they cut the shoe, at least the, in the Photoshop. But I do think that it would be a very successful shoe regardless of the price point. So yes, uh, I think that the price point will be higher. Uh, does it affect my um, or does it affect me not wanting to buy it? No, I definitely still will want to buy it. Um, and I do want to see more, obviously, before we fully commit to our opinions. But uh, but that's the only thing I could suggest. I mean, the first initial images, a lot of people might hate them. But uh, but really just consider like there's I mean, it's, it's a super leaked image. I'm pretty sure somebody got in trouble for leaking that stuff because I'm sure they wanted to do like an official announcement. But uh, regardless, I'm definitely looking forward to Kobe season. Uh, it will be nice to have him back on the court as well as have a new sneaker, hopefully, to be hooping in. And, and uh, man, just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier, so many sneakers coming out, so many releases, and then you throw a, a brand new sneaker into the mix like this, and it just it's just going to be crazy. Uh, definitely curious to see what they're going to do with the fly knit upper and the, the variations of different colorways. Uh, with that, and it looks like the upper part of, of for the sock liner area is just open free for all open print uh, i'm assuming they're going to make some pretty rad uh, choices on this shoe but that's just kind of my initial thoughts on this shoe i'm sure you guys have a lot to say as well weighing in the comment sections below and uh looking forward again to seeing more thanks for stopping in and watching check out the website um collectivekicks.com for more information as it unfolds i will be uh, kind of releasing information on there before I make videos, if even if I make videos on the subject. This one was um, newsworthy, though, and uh, I felt like uh, it, was, it was a good subject for today. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day, and we will catch you guys soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.